many people do not want to hear about tax compliance. And the question is why? Why don't people want to hear about tax compliance? Today we are talking about taxes and we want to answer the question, are you complying with tax laws? I do not expect you to tell me the answer to that question, but you need to ask yourself that question. And the only two answers, number one, yes, and number two, no. If you are complying with tax laws, that is good. If you are not complying with tax laws, you need to ask yourself why. After answering the question why, you need to ask yourself what is it that I need to do so that I can comply with the tax laws. We know that failure to comply with tax laws can be very expensive. We know about the penalties, the fines, the interests, and possibility of being prosecuted for not following tax laws. All laws, tax laws included, are made to be followed. And it is not animals that follow the tax laws. It is human beings. Because it's human beings who write down the tax laws. There are very many people who are registered for tax. And there are very many people who are not registered for tax. But tax laws are supposed to be followed. Whether you are registered or not registered. You know there's the traffic act or the traffic law is supposed to be followed by people, whether you own a car or you don't own the car. There is always a section in the law that covers even those people who don't own vehicles. So back to the tax laws. Let me explain about complying with taxes, even though you are not registered for tax. If you walk into a restaurant and that restaurant is registered for VAT, after you have had your meal, you will get a bill, and in that bill, there is going to be the VAT component. You are not registered for VAT, but you are supposed to comply. You are supposed to comply with the VAT law. And how do you do it? You do this by paying your bill in full. In case you decide that you are not going to pay the VAT component, you will be breaking the tax laws specifically the VAT law. That is an example of how every person is expected to follow tax laws, irrespective of whether they are registered or not. And that is why I said tax laws are for every single person. But this is the thing. There are very many people who do not follow tax laws. And that is not only a Kenyan problem. It is a global problem. For whatever reason or reasons, human beings hate tax. I've never come across anyone who loves tax. It is a compulsory requirement by the government. There are very many reasons why people do not follow tax laws. But all those reasons can be grouped into two. Number one, those people who have decided that they are not going to pay tax. As far as they are concerned, whether it is raining, shining, or raining and shining at the same time, there is no reason that would compel them to pay tax. And they do that intentionally. I remember sometimes back I met this person and I was talking to him about tax. And the person told me, there's no reason under the sun that would make the person pay tax. I looked at the person and the look the person had scared me. And I asked myself, why would anyone be so angry about paying tax? But again, this is a general problem. Very many people are angry about paying tax. I asked him what had happened, and the person explained to me. And I concluded the person 
had a reason to be ugly. I explained to the person that it is not the taxes that had caused him the pain, but the people who were expected to implement the tax laws. He was still liable for the taxes, irrespective of how he felt about the tax officers. And this is a good example of how when you do not comply with taxes, what ends up happening at the end of the day. This person was very angry. He had a lot of anger. And that anger is not healthy. That is the kind of anger that can cause health problems to anyone. Are you angry about tax? It is time to stop being angry because that anger is damaging your health. The second reason is those people who do not comply with tax laws because they do not know they are supposed to be complying or they do not know how to comply with tax laws. They are willing and ready to comply with tax laws, only that they don't know how to go about it. I know someone is asking, is there anyone in this country who is willing to comply with tax laws? The answer is yes. And the most unfortunate thing is that those people who want to comply with tax laws are more than those people who do not want to comply with tax laws. The problem is that they do not know what to do. And I know that is a very common scenario. Just imagine the many times you want to do something, but you do not know how to do it. And yet you know the consequences of not doing what you expected to do. It is a very frustrating thing. One gets very frustrated because of the fact that they do not know what to do. When you're talking about tax laws, there are very many taxpayers who are frustrated. The problem is they are willing to comply with tax laws, but they just do not know how. Let me ask you this question. Of the two groups, where do you belong? Are you one of the people who have decided they will never comply with tax laws? Or do you belong to the second group of the people? They are willing and ready to comply with tax laws. But for whatever reason or reasons, you don't know the taxes that you're supposed to comply with or you do not know how to comply with tax laws. Do not be like Mr. Kamau. Mr. Kamau was visited by tax officers, and after the usual greetings, it was time for business. And even though Mr. Kamau was registered for tax, he had not been complying with tax laws. Kamau had never filed tax returns, and he had never paid any taxes. And when he was asked why by the officers who had visited him, he took the officers to the widow of his office and he pointed out of the widow and this is what he said. You see that out there? That is supposed to be a load. It has not been done for the last 20 years. Give me one reason I should pay tax. He turned and looked at the officers straight in the eye. It was a tense moment. After a few minutes, one of the tax officers spoke, and this is what he had to say. Mr. Kamau, we sympathize with the situation. However, probably if you paid tax, the load would have been made by now. At that moment, Mr. Kamau realized his responsibility as a taxpayer. The list is history. For those people who refuse to comply with tax laws, we leave them at the mercy of the tax commissioner. The tax laws are very clear as far as complying with tax laws is concerned. And always remember, ignorance is no defense and there are consequences for not complying with tax laws. For those people who are willing to comply with tax laws, but they do not know the particular taxes that they are supposed to be complying with or 
they do not know how to comply with the tax laws, this session is for you. Stay tuned. We are going to look at three steps and each of these steps should help any taxpayer comply with tax laws. By the time we complete this session, you will have understood some of the steps that you can take so that you can comply with tax laws. So what are the three steps? The first step is registration for taxes. The second step is following tax laws. And the third step is deregistering from taxes. Step number one, register for taxes. What does this entail? If you qualify to be registered for any tax, you are expected to register without a delay. For example, if you qualify to be registered for value-added tax, you are expected to register immediately within one month. We all know that the current qualification threshold, as far as value-added tax is concerned, is Kenya shillings 5 million. And this is for a period of 12 months. And this 5 million, it's about the taxable sales, not any exempt sales. And we know that the taxable sales are the 16% and also the 0% sales. All other, those sales that are taxable at 16% and also those sales that are taxable at 0%. The exempt sales are not considered. And this means that even if your exempt sales are 100 million Kenya shillings for the last 12 months, you do not qualify to be registered for value added tax. In another session, we are going to look at the value added tax. But for now, that is all you need to know about value-added tax. So whatever taxes that you qualify to be registered for, it is important for you to register immediately. In case you don't do that, there is always a penalty. And it is only that the commissioner is very lenient. Otherwise, many people would be paying hefty penalties for failure to register for the specific taxes that they are supposed to register for. So without any delay, find out the taxes that you are expected to register for, go ahead and apply for registration. Registration for taxes is free. In case you don't know how to register, you can walk into any tax authority's office and you're going to be registered. In actual fact, they are very happy when people seek to be registered. They'll be very happy and willing to help you. So you don't have to pay anyone to find out whether you're supposed to be registering or to be registered for a certain or specific tax. You can walk to any tax authority's office. They will give you the best advice, I believe, and they are going to register you if you qualify to be registered. If you don't qualify to be registered, they will inform you that is all about registration. Let us move to the second step. And the second step is about following tax laws. You are now a member and members behave as members. There are certain activities you are expected to undertake because now you are a registered taxpayer. There are basically four main activities that you are expected to undertake as a registered taxpayer. This does not mean that these are the only activities. There are very many things you are expected to do as a taxpayer for you to comply with tax laws. The first activity is about tax records and tax documents. And mostly these are sales and purchase documents. And this does not mean these are the only documents that you're expected to maintain. But for purposes of this session, we are only referring to sales and purchase documents. In another session, we are going to talk about the records and documents that you're expected to maintain 
as a registered taxpayer. Every time when you're talking about tax records and tax documents, there are three activities that you must always remember. And the first activity is keep. And what does keep mean? As far as tax records and documents are concerned, the word or the term keep means that they must be complete. And what do we mean by complete? The books of accounts or the tax records must be written and that must be complete. For example, if it is the cash book, all the details must be included. If it is the tax invoice, all the details that are required to be in the tax invoice must be included. If you are talking about bank reconciliations, that must be complete for a whole year of income. That is what we mean by keep. The second activity, as far as tax records and documents are concerned, is maintaining. And this basically means that the records and documents must be in good order. They are not torn. They are not dusty. If it is filing, there is a certain order of your filing. The third activity is retain. And what do we mean by retain? This means that you must have the tax records and documents in place. Currently, the law requires that you retain the documents and records for five years. However, I always advise people to maintain for a longer period than that. This is because in case you have a tax assessment, the burden will be on you to prove that you don't owe that tax liability or liabilities. It is important for you to remember that tax records and documents are the basis of any tax assessment. The second activity under step two is tax invoices. It is important for you as a registered taxpayer to issue tax invoices. If, for example, you are registered for VAT, you need to procure the recommended ETL machine, that is electronic tax register. And in case you are not sure of the specific ETL machine that you need to procure, you can always consult the tax authority. Many times I have been asked, if a taxpayer is not registered for VAT, do they have to procure ETL machines? The answer is no. But remember, there is voluntary VAT registration. The other question that I get is, how about the tax invoices? Remember, VAT is not the only tax. If you are registered as a taxpayer, the law is about tax invoices. What you do, you can check for the details that are required to be included in a tax invoice and include those details. In another session, we are going to look at tax invoices, the specific details that you need to include. The third activity under step two is about tax returns. Whatever tax system that you register for, you are expected to prepare and file collect tax returns. Make sure that the details you put in the tax returns are correct. Once you do that, you are expected to file the tax returns on time. Various tax systems have the due dates for tax returns. And the law is very clear. In case you are not ready to file your tax returns by those due dates, you can always apply to the commissioner and you're going to be given extension of time to file the tax returns. Failure to file tax returns on time will attract tax fines, penalties, and tax interest. It is important for you to remember that tax returns 
are the pieces of tax assessments. And these are either self-assessments or assessments by the commissioner. In case you have not filed your tax returns and the commissioner wants to lease an assessment, based on the information the commissioner has come across, either information that you have provided or information that has been provided by other taxpayers. The commissioner will file a return on your behalf. This is because every assessment has to be put in a certain tax period. And the basis of any assessment is a tax return. I know there has been arguments that the commissioner has no legal right to file a tax return on behalf of a taxpayer. However, it is important for you to remember that a tax return is the basis of an assessment. And without a tax return, the tax commissioner cannot be able to lease an assessment. If you do not want the tax commissioner to file a tax return on your behalf, what you need to do is to file your tax returns and you do so on time. Activity number four of step two is about paying tax. As a registered taxpayer, it is important for you to pay the collect amount of taxes, that is number one, and also you pay the collect amount of taxes on time. If you fail to pay the collect amount of taxes and you also fail to pay the taxes on time, there is a penalty and tax interest. In addition, you open yourself to criminal prosecution. Because sometimes failure to pay tax is considered as tax evasion. So those are the four steps or the four activities that you are expected to undertake as far as following tax laws is concerned. And please note, these are not the only activities. There are very many things that you're supposed to do. But for purposes of this session, we have discussed only those four activities. In other sessions, we are going to talk about the other many activities that you're expected to undertake, including these four, but we are going to discuss it in details. So that is all we had to say about the second step, and that is following tax laws, because now you are registered, and when you are registered for tax, you have become a member. And members are expected to behave in certain ways. And that behavior in certain ways is evidenced by the specific activities that you are undertaking according to the expectations under the tax law. Let us now look at step number three. The government requires or expects you to register for taxes. At the same time, if you cease to qualify to be registered for taxes, you are expected to deregister for taxes. Let us look at the case of value added tax registration. The registration threshold is a turnover of Kenya shillings 5 million for a period of 12 months. For you to remain as a registered taxpayer, as far as VAT is concerned, you must maintain that turnover of more than 5 million for a period of 12 months. In case your turnover dips or is below that Kenya shillings 5 million, you are expected to apply for deregistration. And this brings us to step number three, deregistration. When you no longer qualify for registration of any tax system, you are expected to apply for deregistration. For example, if you no longer qualify to be registered for value added tax or VAT, the VAT law demands that you apply for 
ID registration. And if you don't do that, you are going to be penalized. If you don't qualify to be a member, you cannot pretend to be a member. Many taxpayers are not aware about the application for the registration. It is within the law for you to apply to be deregistered if you do not qualify for any tax system. In case you fail to apply to be deregistered, you are not following the tax laws. You are actually breaking the tax law. So those are the three steps that every taxpayer is expected to take so that they can comply with the tax laws. Remember, these are the minimum steps that any taxpayer can take. But we appreciate and recognize that sometimes it is very difficult for any person to start doing everything at the same time. That will result in disaster. Take baby steps as far as tax compliance is concerned. And once you do that, within a short time, you will have done so much and your tax compliance levels will be almost 80-90%. We appreciate that it is very difficult to have 100% tax compliance. Of course, an ideal situation would be 100% tax compliance, but if that is not possible, 90% is good enough. In this session, we have discussed about compliance with tax laws. And the question was, are you complying with tax laws or not? Having gone through the session, what is your answer? We have looked at three steps of how to comply with tax laws. And the first step is register for taxes. The second step is to follow the tax laws. And the third step is to apply for the registration in case you no longer qualify to be registered for tax. We have come to the end of this session and we always say that it is not enough for you to go through the session and you do not take action. So what is the way forward? We have discussed three steps that will help any taxpayer to start complying with tax laws. So what is the way forward? It is simple. Take the steps. Step number one, register for all the taxes that you are expected to register for. Go out of your way and find out those tax systems that you are expected to register for. Step number two, follow the tax laws once you are registered. Follow the tax laws as far as tax records and documents are concerned. You must keep, maintain, and retain the records and documents. Issue tax invoices, file tax returns, and make tax payments. Step number three, deregister from any tax system if you are no longer qualified. Go out of your way and find out the requirements. We hope that you are going to take action and you are not going to be like Mr. Kamau because at the end of the day, it is cheaper to comply with tax laws. Start your tax compliance journey today and you will never regret it. This is a business channel and we talk about finance, tax, and many other issues that affect how we do our businesses. We have a lot of business resources, and if you want to find out more, make sure that you watch the other videos in this channel, and you can also visit our website. The link is in the description. Before you leave, make sure that you go to the comment section and leave a comment on any other step that one can take to comply with taxes. And remember to subscribe so that you get notified every time when we upload. Your presenter today 
was Dr. Wakaguyu WK. Until next time, stay well.